If this is your first time to the channel, then I'm going to unleash this guy on you. Samoa! Hola amigos, it's Will here from Will's Custom Figures coming at you today with a big bad breakdown of the one, the only, Jamar and Rosie. So please guys sit back while I talk you through three minute warning, one of WWE's most underrated and badass tag teams of all time and how I'm actually going about making them. So firstly guys, let's start with a progress update. You may have seen my previous video. If you have, I really appreciate you tuning into the second one. If you haven't, then go check it out. As you can see, I've, I'm actually working on a set of Hasbro old school retro three minute warning figures. This was originally Brett the Hitman Heart, as you can probably tell from the little faint bits of pink coming through. But we're at the stage now where all of the sculpting has been done. I've got one tiny little amendment just to make um, Jim, uh, sorry, Rosie is going to be wearing, I believe, a headband and then he'll have his braids, um, his cornrows that he had hanging down, similar to how Jamal has got his here. Um, down the back of the hair so uh, I'm really looking forward to adding those bits on and then we're at the stage for painting the most exciting bit so yeah this has been very very hard it's been painstaking I'm really happy with how it's turning out hopefully you like how both of these figures um, have ended up very similar so I'll talk you through them both at the same time how I've actually went about getting to the position that we're at at the moment and then I'll talk about the small little differences so firstly um, I think the, the biggest uh, thing of all the biggest job of all you may have seen me do in the previous video was removing the boots so I've used a Dremel drill I've drilled and drilled and drilled and basically made as much of a dent in the um, leg as possible and then sculpted it over the top of that with clay so you can see you actually have shins there now rather than boots and laces in addition to that I've added on boots so very similar design each side um, I can uh, sorry with each figure and um, yeah I can add in a lot more details with paintwork to that but you can see they've both got a tongue they've both got the uh, sort of a bit like high tops um, going around the edge then we move on to the shorts it's all about not them, uh, them not being perfect. So I've added this clay on and I've really just, you can see I've shoved it in with my fingers there. Then I've not went and repaired those bits because of course these are three quarter lengths. They're meant to, uh, they're meant to have, you know, um, little, I guess, indentations and lines and, and the, the material is moving at the end of the day. So little creases and things, you can see there's a nice little crease there on Jamal's. And for anybody that doesn't know, that's watching this video for the first time, Jamal was actually Umaga and his son is Solo Sokoa in WWE at the moment. So that's pretty, pretty badass. And uh, this guy here, Rosie, for anybody that doesn't know, um, this is actually Roman Reigns' brother, really, really badass wrestler. They're, both of these guys were badass uh, wrestlers um, and, uh, of course, part of the Samoan dynasty. Now, um, if we have a look at the upper bodies here, the heads have all been attached by clay. I've then added on these uh, tops. They're sort of like basketball, football jerseys. So really looking forward to painting all the intricate artwork on them. And I'm very privileged, actually, um, Rosie's son, um, Koa has reached out to me and we've been talking about what kind of design to do on here so I'm very very excited to find out the exact nuances and details that I can add onto this figure to make it personalised for him in his personal collection. Um, also a nice little touch here uh, for anybody that doesn't know I've lifted all the braids up I actually lifted them and held them up with uh, with uh, sorry blue tack and then I've put clay around the top here so uh, we can get Umaga in his original look before the Umaga character was even made with the headband on just waiting to find out if we need to do the same thing with Rosie and guys that is it from me I really hope you've enjoyed this video could you imagine if these two were around today like enforcers coming back and helping Roman Reigns with uh, the, the tribal chief with his world championship legendary title reign good god that would be amazing and uh, two extremely underrated people i think today's wrestling um fans the aws and everyone else could you imagine a team like this coming on the scene and tearing things up like only these uh, these legendary legendary wrestlers and this legendary tag team would do they're only around us three minute warning for such a short period and in that short period they made an absolute impact into professional wrestling very excited to show you the finished video very, very soon. And uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below if you've liked this video. Here we go, a bit of free cam. And uh, if you have liked this video, 
as mentioned, give me a follow on Instagram, give me a follow on Facebook, and uh, yeah, it's been an absolute treat filming this for you. And uh, once I've removed those face tattoos and uh, get all the skin tones and the paintwork filled in, I think you're going to be really, really impressed with the final product. So uh, on that note, from myself, from Omega, I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.